The Carolina Gamecocks will play for the National Baseball Championship tomorrow after beating Clemson this afternoon. And good Friday evening. I'm Susan Ade. And I'm Steve Crocker. South Carolina bound for the National Championship game. This afternoon, Carolina whipped Clemson 10 to 2. So tomorrow, Carolina plays Texas for the title. Rick Garney is here now with highlights from this afternoon's Palmetto State rivalry. Clemson just not looking like the team we saw all year. No, and uh, no doubt about it, after seeing two games between these three teams, who uh, two teams who actually deserves to go to the national title game. Yeah, today, Carolina and Clemson met on the diamond for the sixth time this season. Clemson led the season series 3-2, to two, but none of that mattered today. This game here was not only for bragging rights in the rivalry, but for a trip to the national championship game. USC wins it. Well, let's take a look at some of the early highlights first. Uh, fans hoping for a close game, but they wouldn't get it after a while. Landon Powell here starts the scoring two-run single in the second. Later in the second, Kevin Melillo, the number nine hitter coming through. That's a base hit. Gamecocks hit 3 nothing. To the third we go. It was 4 nothing. Carolina. Well, here's Jeff Baker getting Clemson's first run. That made it 3-1 Carolina. Now to the third inning, or to the eighth inning. It's a five-run eighth inning for Carolina. That made it 10-1. to one. Clemson got one run back in the ninth, but with the bases loaded, the flyout and Stephen Bondurant, the complete game for the Gamecocks. You've got to give it up for him as Carolina wins it 10-2, and they will play Texas on Saturday in the national championship game. Sports director Rick Henry is in Omaha as we speak. He has more on this huge game. A big win for Carolina, a tough loss for Clemson. Rick has more now from Rosenblatt Stadium. Rick? Yeah, what a big day for Palmetto State baseball fans here in Omaha, South Carolina, over Clemson 10-2. The Gamecocks going to the national championship game for the third time in program history. I'm here now with Trey Dyson, USC senior. Trey, you guys have to come out here to Omaha to win the state championship, but now you're going to play for the national title tomorrow. Uh, it just feels incredible to be able to, uh, to bounce back the way we did. It just really shows what our team's all about. Coach Tanner always preaches about being a team of great character and being resilient, and that's definitely what we've been since we've been down here. And we beat a great Clemson team two times in a row. No one thought that we could make could make it to this game, especially since the hole we dug ourselves on the first Friday against Georgia Tech, but we're here and it feels great. Does it make it even sweeter because you beat your arch rival not once, but twice to get to the national title game? It really does, you know. Not only are they they are our arch rival, but uh, they are, they're, they're one of the greatest teams in the country and they they were ranked number one all year and, and uh, I'm just so happy for, for my teammates and for the state of South Carolina and our fans, South Carolina fans who are the greatest and uh, I'm just really excited, and we're going to play a great game tomorrow against Texas. Finally, do you guys have enough gas left to take on the Texas Longhorns tomorrow? Thanks to Stephen Bondurant and Matt Campbell and Aaron Rawl, we do. Those guys pitched great the past three games and uh, really saved, saved our bullpen. So we're going to have some pitchers uh, being ready to go, go tomorrow against Texas. And uh, what a great performance by Stephen Bondurant. He's my roommate, and uh, what just an excellent job by him. And it was just an awesome game for everyone. All right, Trey Dyson, USC Senior, congratulations on the big win. Trey and the Gamecocks going for the national championship tomorrow right here in Omaha, and we'll have much more later in sports. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Rick. We'll get back to you. Oh, yeah, very exciting day, wasn't it? Well, most people took at least half a day and sat back to take in the Carolina and Clemson baseball. Megan Hughes is in Columbia's Five Points now with more on a Friday filled with playing hooky. That's right, good news for Gamecocks fans and good news for Jake's Bar. You can see a lot of Gamecock fans are still out here celebrating. A couple of numbers for you to think about while you're mulling over this 10 to 2 victory. 300 beers and 100 orders of chicken wings. Now here's a look at what the fans were up to while the Gamecocks were out there making their way to a championship. The signs were everywhere at Jake's at five points as Gamecock fans flocked to find out what was on tap for the big game. Have an excellent season, just hopefully uh, we play better tonight. Part cheering section, part fashion show. For today, Mike trades in his briefcase for Gamecock gear. And this little diehard chicken, Maggie Bleak, has worn her uniform every game this week without washing. Standing out in the crowd, one terrified tiger. I'm a little outnumbered. <laughs> There's only one of me and a whole bunch of them. And by the fifth inning, Mike was certain it was lights out for Clemson. We've been whooping some tiger butt. But in the midst of the cheers, a lesson that all birds are not created equal. Some would have a different fate. It's kind of bad karma, but it's all right. You got to have chicken wings when you're watching the Gamecocks go hand in hand. 
Now our terrified tiger has taken off, and who here are Gamecocks fans? <laughs> And as you can see, they're just hoping that the party will continue. Live in Five Points, I'm Megan Hughes, WIS News 10.